Have you noticed in some buildings you feel sick and other buildings you don't? Well, this has to do with indoor air quality. Now, let's talk about your home's indoor air quality. If you're feeling sick at your house, if you have allergies or asthma, well, this could be because you have too many particulates in the air. Now, the standard one inch filter, and again, this is a very thin filter, is what most HVAC companies put in their house. We're gonna talk about on this video how to go with a thicker filter. We just uploaded this video with April Air on our sister channel, Rate It Green, and we talk about go you know, from a MERV 11 to a MERV 16 filter, which ones to get for your house and which ones we recommend for our clients. Yeah, so as Matt mentioned, not all filters are created equal, and that's 100% true. Majority of filters that you see, maybe you have a one inch filter that just slides into your furnace and it's got this big open slot. What that does is that, a lot of, that allows a lot of air to blow right by that and it's not even filtered. And it's in a basement that's damp, it's musty, it's unhealthy. So with our filter cabinets, what we assure is that you're filtering almost 100% of the air that's going through it. We have a sealed system, rail system on the top and the bottom. And then on the front of it, we allow an overhang that seals on the front door area along with gaskets here. That way that assures that we're forcing that air through that filter. The air actually doesn't want to go through the filter, it wants to go around it. So that way we're creating that force field of filtering the air. So let's talk about why this is important. Now a typical filter, uh, whether it's a one inch uh, or a four inch box filter, sometimes they have two inch filters as well. It comes in this box right here and you can see that there's no gasket on this box. Uh, when this goes in, sometimes it could get uh, crumpled up. Now, I just recently did a renovation on my house and this is, this is a replacement filter for one of our systems. Uh, we are upgrading to the, the four inch filter. We just need to replace our HVAC system and do all that at the same time. But I noticed the one inch filter wasn't quite doing its job. And when it got clogged up, it actually started to, uh, had, had too much pressure on it, it actually collapsed the box. So all that air was going around the filter not doing its job. Now with this April air system, again, it's a larger filter. You have uh, basically uh, the, 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 the four inch going back and forth. You've got about 28 square feet with this. So much more filtering surface and that way it can last a lot longer. So if you happen to do a renovation, you don't have to worry about the filter collapsing. You do need to replace it more often than say like the recommended six months or one year if you are doing a renovation or you're not protecting your ductwork correctly. But that's why we recommend this larger filter uh, on all the projects that, that we're working on is because you know, most clients don't want to have to worry about changing their filter every 30 days or 90 days. Now, I also want to talk about one other thing that you can see on this filter. It says electrostatically charged. Now, electrostatically charged means that this is, if, you, if this doesn't have the charge on it, it actually isn't a very good filter. It's probably half the, it has about half the filtration rate. With that electrostatic charge on it, it's able to pick up more particulates. So what happens when that charge falls off? Well, when the charge falls off, it goes back to being a normal filter. That's why they recommend changing these filters every three months or so, because after about 90 days or sometimes even less, the charge falls off of this filter and it effectively goes from like a MERV 13 to a MERV 8 pretty quickly. And when the charge falls off, that MERV 8 filter is not picking up the same advertised particulates that you bought the filter for in the first place. And then what it comes down to is how efficient is this filter for you? And you can see that we have different levels of filtration based on the needs in the home. We have a MERV 11 filter, a MERV 13, a MERV 13 with carbon, and a MERV 16. Now one thing I like about the, the way April Air has put all their, their filter boxes and the, and the marketing together, you can see all the potential particulates that can pull out of the air and then it highlights the ones that this particular one will pull out of the air so if you look at the MERV 11 it looks good I mean, you're getting you're getting uh, five out of the nine potential again the MERV 13 is a little bit better the MERV 13 plus is even better and and the MERV 16 is pulling everything out uh, as advertised so as a standard we're recommending at least a 13 because it pulls more particulates out than the MERV 11 uh, all of these are interchangeable. So if you buy the cabinet, you start with a, a MERV 11. Uh, your HVAC company doesn't give you the, the, the best in the market because they maybe cost a few dollars more. Well, you can still upgrade to a MERV 16 when you're doing the replacement or buying the replacement filters yourself. Now let's go through each of these and talk about uh, what it can take out. So we're basically going to evaluate the MERV 11 and the MERV 16 and do a side-by-side -side comparison. 
So if you have something as simple as just trying to create a, a cleaner, healthier home. So with the Merv 11, it, it basically pulls out most of the large particulates. So pollen, mold spores, bacteria, dander, dust. Uh, these are larger, so the filter is able to pull out some of the larger ones. Now, what, you're, what you don't see on here, you don't see viruses, you don't see uh, some of the, the PM2.5, some of the, the smaller items that, that comes from basically every, like from cooking, and, and also just people living in the house. So the, the Merv 11 does a good job pulling out some of the larger particulates, but the smaller ones are still uh, making it through the filter. So basically the Merv 11 stopped at dust, then the Merv 16 uh, gets at the dust mites, and again, the exoskeletons of those dust mites are what triggers the allergies, uh, filters out some odors, it also filters out some pollution, and also viruses. Now, all these things are very important, especially in this climate right now where We've got all kinds of pathogens, we've got pandemics, endemics out there. But regardless of the, the situation out there, these things need to be filtered out of the air. And we definitely recommend filtration versus adding chemicals to the air to try to kill these things. And the great news is, is when you have the April Air Air Cleaner cabinet in your home, you can interchange any one of these MERV ratings in that cabinet. So that's what we spoke about earlier. So if you start with a, a MERV 11, and the HVAC uh, installer only has that MERV 11, you can always upgrade to a MERV 16 at that point or in the future once that MERV 11 um, dies out. The difference with a four inch filter, as you see it here, is this is a deep filter. In fact, if we were to take this out, cut the ribbons and stretch this out, Matt, we'd have 28 square feet of surface area. What that does is that allows those smaller particulates to get stuck farther in maintains efficiency in that airflow and gives you a lot longer life expectancy out of your filters. We want to stay right, we want as low a pressure drop as possible. So if we can stay right around that 0.1 to 0.15 range, you're giving the HVAC equipment a little bit more pressure to be at that recommended level that the equipment manufacturers look for. Let's talk about pressure drop real quick. We're, we're talking about filtration and pressure drop. And the reason that's important is if you have a filter, if you're putting a very, very small filter in there, uh, again, you're gonna have a pressure difference. And what that means is the fan has to run a little bit harder to pull air across that filter because, uh, and, and with that resistance, having to run harder, is it's less efficient, uh, costs more money because you have the resistance. It takes more power to actually provide the energy to, to rotate that fan but also you've got wear and tear on the motor. So a lot of this equipment is only designed at a certain pressure drop, uh, maybe up to like 0.2, some, some a little bit more, some a little bit less. But with these smaller filters, I, again, you can have more of a pressure drop across these where the thicker filters is going to allow the equipment to last a lot longer. And it's also gonna be better for your energy bills. All right, in conclusion, we're recommending not going with a one inch filter. We want you to go with at least a four inch filter. In these cabinets, again, this, this four inch filter, this, this box is gonna allow you to go from a MERV 11 all the way up to a MERV 16. That way, if you uh, slightly, if you go with this, if a, if a thinner box, you can't go with that MERV 16 filter. So this is very uh, resilient, adaptable to the different filter sizes. Uh, we, we also recommend that you change your, your filters at least every six months up to one year. Um, and with these filters, they, they filter out more of the particulates that you have for your houses now um, we want you to go with a box that now with the april air uh, products uh, basically fits in there it's a lot tighter than say a, a four inch box filter that slides in there you can have blow by it may not have a perfect seal in there so some manufacturers do have that but again we know that the april air uh, is able to overcome what the the, the typical box filters uh, cannot do so go with the thicker cabinet and go with the thicker filter and you should be in good shape now for our projects, we put a minimum of a MERV 13 in there. So every Sawhorse project gets a MERV 13 filter at a minimum. I know some people say MERV 8, MERV 11 are, are, are great. They're better than that fiberglass filter that you put in there. That's just there to protect the equipment. However, we're looking to protect humans and the equipment. So we recommend a MERV 13 filter. And for those clients that, are, that, that want to, we're, we're uh, putting those MERV 16 filters in. And again, you need to make sure you put the thicker cabinet in there that way uh and, so, and sometimes we like to over slightly oversize the cabinet that way we get more filtration less pressure drop and maximum efficiency 
If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel to see more information like this. We've got videos off to the right and left. You can check those out. Those are other filters and uh, other, we've got more information on keeping the air in your home clean. We also have handyman tips. We have DIY tips and also how to build a greenhouse. Thanks again and see you guys next time.